So, the first time I decided to walk, it was a long time ago. I think that I wasn't feeling good. It wasn't hiking, certainly, but it was a way to escape from daily stress and all the surroundings as family, school, sentimental failures, etc. I woke daily without precise reasons, with a lot of questions that haunted me. And so one day, I said to myself, why do I do that? And why not develop this activity? And that's what I did. After a few years, I tried the experience of walking in groups. And I liked it. So I decided to have my own team. Now we are Horizon Randonnée. Next, Fauzi, please. Fauzi? Fauzi. Now we are Horizon Randonnée. My colleague Marwen and I have started this club for three years ago. We have worked hard to expand the group. And now, hundreds of people are following us every two weeks for a new path. We faced a lot of difficulties at the beginning, especially to make paths and to win the trust of people who have not a great idea about this activity. Nowadays, there are more groups, clubs, and associations of hiking in Indonesia. And advertising and marketing are done mainly via social media. The revolution and free access to internet help this curious you to explore his country. Hiking can be considered as a full sport, even if the, this activity is not accompanied by a competitive spirit like other sports. Hiking requires more strength and more physical endurance. But we don't require anything apart from good pack and good walking shoes and not converse or high heels, of course. Why do we walk? Next, Rose. Because nothing simpler and more natural than walking. And that's why a lot of doctors advise patients to walk. And we have a lot of people uh, who got that better thanks to walking. We have noticed that most of hikers are young professionals between 20 and 40 years old. The expectations are different. Their hikers are looking to escape the hustle and the bustle of the city. Others are there to challenge uh, the challenge of reaching the top of a mountain. Some are there just to enjoy the scenery and take pictures. So we love hiking because it combines adventure, discovery, uh, physical challenge, and meeting new people. And in the end, everyone, uh, at the end, everyone gets something out of it. Next, Fauzi. So, in the places we visit, people we meet and the happy moments we enjoy seem to come to us at the pedestrian speed. The purpose of hiking is to experience life, not as we know it, but to learn, to share, to connect to it, as it exists in a new place that is new to us. Walking simply is the best way to do that. Much of our life moves past us through a pane of glass. Trains, planes, cars, buses, and more frequently, the screen of a cell phone or tablet. And now, the 60-inch HD televisions make up a lot of our day-to-day -day life experiences. Taking an adventurous walk through an allow landscape, or a footpath that has stood for thousands of years, or walk into a hillside village and meet people who still live their lives as their ancestors, the generations before them, change our perception of life through glass forever. Walking in a new and different land provides unique opportunities. A new perspective, perspective much under appreciation of our cozy homes. For a brief week or so, we can venture outside of our comfort zone. 
the call of a distant mountain peak, or the power of a deep canyon, steals a form of motivation to walk a bit farther than we usually do. Indeed, the simple sight of a blind corner just ahead can move us to walk farther just to see what is behind it. So you have to connect to whatever is in on the other side, and walking is the connection. Next, Rosie. I want to share some important <laughs> moments with you. But you cannot believe how hard the choice was, because all of them are worth sharing. Here is one. Rosie? Our, um, one time, we went to Andraham, a mountain village closer to Cromley. Yeah. Um, we had been there many times before, but I really love this part of the country. On this hike, I took a chance and decided to improvise for the first one. And I knew that the worst that could happen would be that we would have to turn around However, despite the cold and the rain, the whole group managed to complete the entire hike. Newbie, newbie hikers were so proud of themselves to, for having risen to the challenge, and they had immensely enjoyed the scenery. Rosie. I will never forget what my wife told me on that day. I have, an, I have never felt so in touch with nature as I did today. And that's what hiking brings to people, the pure joy of reconnecting with nature. Other story that come to mind, our first walk in Hawaria. Hawaria is a small village uh, located on the tip of the cabin. And where I gathered a lot of unforgettable memories and a path not like the others. <coughs> we started our journey by stopping near a sinking boat that has been there for years now, all rusty, but it is considered to be one of the important spots to visit whenever we go to Hawaii. Then we headed off to the lighthouse of Rasatai. The guardians welcomed us with such generosity and kindness, and they took us by small groups in order to explore the lighthouse with its amazing lighting system. Then we have decided to have a lunch. We sat down next to what looked like a flower trough floating by the sea. And there, we had enjoyed what nature offered. A magical view. Seagulls just flying curiously, and boats could sail easily on the smooth waters. After that, we went up to the semaphore. Without doubt, the heart was extremely hard, with other rocks that kept slowing us down. They were slippery, which uh, caused us to fall in more than one occasion. One hour later, uh, we were on our way home. The road was clear, yet tiring, and the heat was over. Despite all of the difficulties we encountered, uh, the whole group uh, were, <coughs> was able to maintain good, positive vibes, and that allowed us to explore the beautiful Hawaria. All of this brings us to the main issue and the most interesting one. What future has hiking in Tunisia? How can we protect these fragile ecosystems and value without destroying them? Do we have to stop hiking? Or is there another solution? Rosie? It's okay. Popularity of hiking grows increasingly in Tunisia, but don't forget that the outstanding number of hiking groups 
in protected areas may have serious consequences in the future. So that's why it is necessary to be guided by a professional team. It is our duty to preserve these natural sites, this inestimable biodiversity and this strategic sector of the economy. Our first objective is to make hiking known in Tunisia and educate new bee hikers, but also the general public in the need to respect environment via hiker responsible charter. We also try to let people know the ecotourism potential is great for hiking through organizing conferences, taking into account the natural potential of national parks, we developed uh, several recommendations to integrate, uh, integrate these parks into ecotourism network and establish reception and accommodation facilities um, as camping spaces and uh, small, uh, small hotels suited to family character. And finally, develop paths for hikes Respected natural envi environment um, conservation principles. Together, we will we will make uh, Tunisia better. Thanks, and join us for the next hike. Thank you very much. Thank you.